Okay, so I'm going to talk about the cabinetry uh, on this one. So uh, as you know, you have to do full cabinetry in the beverage center, in the copy call room, and then in the room. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure how long this is. So it's almost, uh, well, we'll do eight, four um, for that. We have a door right here and then we also need space for trash. So, we could either be putting trash, you know, we could put a hole right here for trash um, and then just have the trash bin inside if you wanted to do it that way, or you could have um, leave space for trash and out here. Um, and you can make this bigger if you want to uh, also. Um, so guess what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to do, so we want co component. We want to place a component and I want to load family. Uh, I want to go to my casework and my base cabinets. And then for these, what I'm going to do, and again, you can do this differently, is I'm going to do a single drawer door so that's what I want I want just a plain old door um, and that's the one I'm going to put my trash bin in so I'm going to open that and we're going to edit type and it's two inches wide, which should be fine. We need the height of it. Oh wait, actually, let me duplicate. Um, SC 24 inch door. The height needs to be two foot eight and a half. My toe depth needs to be four. My toe height needs to be four. And then I'm gonna keep it two feet wide and I'm going to put that one at the end so then I'm going to have a hole for my trash. Um, maybe I'll put, uh, I'll put another one of those right next to it and I'm going to change the hand on that. So we need a full blank bank of drawers in here for our section. So I'm going to do component, load family, drawers, we're going to edit that type, we're going to duplicate, I'm going to call it SC 24 inch drawers. So I want these all the same. I don't want some weird, some weird thing in here. So four, four, four. And then the width I want to be two feet. So it matches those other ones. I don't know what that's about. Give me an error. And I'm just going to do two of those. So I'm not quite at my four inches, which is fine. It's fine. Whatever. I could, um, oh, wait, no, there's a sink there. I can't do that can't have that because there's a sink there. So we need to do a one of those ones with the apron I was talking about. Um, double, I don't want to double. Mm -mm -mm. Um, 
Well, maybe I'll use this one. Edit type, duplicate, SC 24 inch sink. Height to be two foot eight. This is four. This is four. The width is going to be two. Um, doesn't have to be a handicapped accessible sink because it's, well, maybe it does. Oh, what a pain in the butt. We'll make it three so it's a handicapped accessible sink. And then it will say, it's giving me that weird error again. I don't know what it's doing. So we'll do it like that. We'll move these over. So I'm a little bit over that eight foot four, but I have my trash inside here. Um, so I don't really need to have something here, whatever, it's fine. Um, and then I need to put on my countertop. Oopsie. Countertop. Just, um, I don't know. Let's see what is this thing doing? I don't know exactly how big that sink is. So, all right, I'm going to look at this in 3D. Let's see, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a camera shot. Okay. All right. Again, this needs to go down to be at two foot ten. Why are these cabinets too high? Didn't I make them lower? Set it tight. Two foot eight. What the heck? The toe height being two foot ten. I did that there too. That's so weird. Okay. Zero, four. Oh, that looks better. So now with this guy, um, uh, hang on. I'm gonna flip it. Oh wait, did that flip it the way I want? Wait, yeah. So if I go back and look at that, so now it's handles are flipped and they're going the right way. Um, and then that sink, I'm not going to get it. It's on canvas. You can grab it, put it in there, adjust the, the countertop um, accordingly. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it. Done and done. Cabinets. Um, okay. Thank you.